Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you guys are looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video as well as leave any comments that you have for me down below. In today's video, we're gonna be swatching Merit's new signature lightweight lipstick. These came out February 22nd, I believe, and here is the packaging, and here is the unit. I have four shades to swatch for you guys today. If you guys aren't familiar with Merit, Merit is sold in Sephora. They're a luxury minimalist makeup brand, so they really focus on the beauty of your natural skin, and just kind of like enhancing that. They have really beautiful lip oils. I really enjoy their mascara as well well and they have like a multi stick it's kind of like a concealer foundation primer all in one so i'm going to be focusing on these lipsticks today for you guys i have been really into just like easy throw it on type of lipsticks that you don't have to fuss with anything that has more of a natural finish is like my go-to for an everyday type of look so let's get into it so these launched February 22nd of this year. There are eight shades in total. I have half of the collection, so I have four of them. And the shades that I have for you guys today are Cabo, Fashion, Baby, and Tiger. I picked out shades that I thought would be really flattering for me, as well as shades that I know that I like to wear on a daily basis. So showing you guys the unit now, I think this is so pretty and so luxe. Like just having this sit on your vanity so it's kind of like an ember packaging all of the units have the same color cap and it kind of pulls out here and then you have your lipstick right here so i love a good gold packaging that's kind of just like my thing reading from their website right now it's described as a hydrating buildable lipstick with a soft satin finish it's so lightweight you'll forget you're wearing it I have worn one of the shades a couple of times so far. Is this the one? Yeah, so I've worn Tiger a couple of times. I've worn it alone, I've worn it with a lip liner, and I've also worn it like sheared out on my lips, and I really do like it. I wouldn't say it's long wearing. I don't necessarily think it's supposed to be like a long wearing lipstick. It is your traditional like satin finish lipstick that feels really comfy and then it's also easy to reapply because you don't have to worry about your lips getting flaky or dry throughout the day as you wear it. So let's go ahead and get into the swatching. I'll give you guys a little bit of my thoughts as I'm applying them and stuff, but at the very end, I'll give you like my final thoughts. All right, so we're gonna go in with Baby first. It's a nice heavy compact, by the way. I forgot to mention that. I do like that. So this is Baby. And I'll go ahead and apply this to the back of my hand so you guys can kind of see that. There you go, that's Baby. And then applying this on the lips. I feel like it kind of just neutrals out my lips. All right, and here is the shade Baby. This is described on their website as their neutral pink shade. Does feel really soft, very like slippery on the lips, but it still has a good hold. Like it doesn't feel like a lip oil or anything like that. If you've ever tried their lip oils, it feels completely different. Like this is definitely what you would expect from a good wearing traditional lipstick. Next up we have Tiger. This is described as a brick red. I'll swatch Tiger here for you. I love that. This is the shade that I've worn a couple of times and I really enjoy it. It's described as a brick red, but I find that it's not too intense so I can wear this without feeling like I need a full, full face of makeup. So you see how it's kind of toned down on the lips versus in the tube. I really like this shade. I feel like this would be suitable for so many people. If you're more of a fair complexion, this is gonna be a little more intense on you, but for people with like a medium skin tone like I do to tan to like darker skin tones, I feel like this will definitely be like a muted everyday kind of like put together sophisticated lip. Next up we have Cabo. It is the red orange in the collection and you guys know I cannot stay away from red oranges no matter how scary they are to me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I do like the applicator. I like how it's just a flat applicator and I can just slip it onto my lips without worrying about any weird like angles or anything like that, you know? <gasps> Wait, that is the most wearable red orange like right on straight from the tube that i feel like i've ever tried sometimes you guys know red oranges can really intimidate me and i have to like just blot it on but this i did full power that looks really good 
Oh, I really like that. Okay. If you love the look of red oranges, but they scare you, this might be our solution. I say our because I'm one of those people where I love a red orange, but I'm scared of it. Oh, I love it. Even when I build it, I feel like it's such a soft finish that it's not scaring me. And then let me do a hand swatch for you guys. That's Cabo right there. Oh my goodness, I don't want to take this off. Okay. <laughs> one more. We have one more and it is fashion. And lastly here, we have fashion, which is going to be the soft berry. Really beautiful. I'm excited to see what this looks like on the lips. I definitely feel like it'll be a nice, like soft, plushy color. Oh my goodness. Now this one is definitely a little more pigmented than the other three shades, but I kind of like dig it because with these darker shades, I want to make sure that the pigment is even throughout. And I feel like because it's a little more pigmented, you're able to achieve that with it. Mm, these just feel so like silky, like very slippy. Still so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It gives you the effect that you would look for when you blot a lipstick on. Like, you know, when you just blot it on, except this lipstick just gives you that look immediately out of the tube. Let me do a hand swatch here for you. And that's fashion right there. Okay, so my thoughts overall regarding like the feel of the lipstick. So I really enjoy how this feels on the lips. You can definitely feel that it's moisturizing and it has just a bit of slip, but nothing too like intense. So the look of it, because of the finish, it is a satin finish. I would say this is a very good description for these. They do feel like a satin finish because they're not slippery. So they don't feel like they're gonna like slip completely off of the lips. They're not drying whatsoever. I'd say these lie right in the middle of being glossy and being matte like right there in the middle so it feels like a substantial lipstick you know what i mean like it's not gonna like slip off the second that you eat or drink something but it also doesn't feel like it's going to dry the heck out of your lips um i like this finish i feel like it's not too much and this is definitely the type of lip product that if you want something that you can just blot on and it looks super natural and it just like enhances your natural makeup for the day this is going to be that product for sure like hands down i love how it gives you that blotted natural look straight out of the tube when you do like full swipes it gives you that natural look if you're looking for something that's super pigmented very intense like bold these are not going to be it for you um these would be a really beautiful topper too like if you had a lip liner that you wanted to like line your entire lip with and then just top it on so you have something that's moisturizing as well as something that kind of like finishes off the look this would be a great topper as well but for me I'm kind of like digging just having it swiped on as is. I really love this because I guess like where I'm at right now, I really like natural finishes, natural looks, like everyday type of makeup. That's really all I've been doing. You know what I mean? So this product seems like it fits right in with the rest of my like makeup products. I say this in a lot of my videos, but in my opinion, when a lip product has sort of a satin finish to it, something a little bit more um, moisturized looking, it gives me more of a sophisticated put together look. I love to throw these on when I'm feeling like I want a little something, like I know I'm gonna be taking selfies or just like pictures in general. I love throwing these types of shades on because I don't even have to worry about it. Now, because of the finish again, these are gonna be really easy to apply so I am not like stressed or pressed about not having a long wear lipstick sometimes you know if I'm gonna go out for like a lunch day or a dinner day I'm not gonna want a really high maintenance lipstick so being able to have something like this and then eating and drinking and then just reapplying it after perfectly fine with me I love that they have bold shades, but they're not too bold. And I also like that they have everyday shades. There's a brown shade in the collection called 1990 that I really wanna try out. 
And there's Lavenu, which is like a bolder red. And I think I want to try those two out. I might pick those up as well, but I'm really pleased with this, you know? So Merit in general, like I said at the very beginning of the video, it's going to be more of your minimalist everyday makeup. So if you're expecting like high glam, super pigmented, matte like you know, crazy makeup, you're not going to get that from Merit. But if you're looking for something that you can wear every day, I think it's a great brand. $26 for a lipstick, I have to admit is pretty pricey in my opinion. That is a lot for one lipstick, but I love how luxe this looks. And I feel like I'm probably going to bring like two or three of these shades with me on my bachelorette. I'm going on my bachelorette this weekend and I think these might be perfect. So... I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get really good use out of these for an everyday type of lipstick. Let me know if you guys picked up any of the shades and what you think about them and if this is something that you can like see yourself wearing. I am very curious to see what everyone else is thinking because there's been so many lipstick launches I feel like and I feel like it's either you really love natural type of lipsticks and stuff or you want that like bold gotta stay all day type of thing. Well, maybe not necessarily because I like both, but I feel like it's there's a lot of extremes when it comes to lipsticks and I'm just curious what do you guys like like what is your preference what lipstick brands are you like super into for all of the above you know what I mean um but yeah that is everything I really like these lipsticks I would approve them I would definitely say pick up a couple that you can just like have as staples don't necessarily need all of the shades especially at the price point of $26 but you know I mean you could and then you could just switch it out every day that's an idea <laughs> That's everything for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!